Hey, what's happening guys? We have a new meter to review today and we're doing it with a different camera. <laughs> I got about halfway through shooting this review on my normal camera and it died after all these years, but that's okay. We got this one. So this is the Hold Peak HP90B, which is a 6,000 count true RMS multimeter and its gimmick is a built-in battery tester. It lists for $28 on Amazon. So let's put it through its paces what do you say we start with resistance today we'll start high with one meg point nine nine pretty good 10k 10.01, pretty good. 1K. 1K. <laughs> Nothing bad to say there. 2.2, 2.4, okay. Very good on resistance readings. No problems whatsoever. Alright, let's bring out the uh, little voltage standard there. And we'll give it a check. Start low at two and a half volts. Yep, 2.5. Oh, six. This is five volts. 5.013. Seven and a half. Now, since this is a 6,000 count multimeter, we're going to lose a digit here. 7.48 and 10 volts nine point nine eight again right on the money so far this has learned out to be a great little meter all right let's check some diodes hit the select button that's continuity there we go diode mode and uh, we'll start with a shot key diode so what the uh, uh, junction drop here should be about around 0.2 or so. 0.19, that's a little low. All right, this is a, a high speed. It should be right around like a silicon diode, about 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And here's a nice silicon diode. So 0.5, very good. All right, now we're going to check our LEDs. It should show us the, the uh, forward voltage and may or may not light all of these LEDs, depending on the voltage it uses. So red lights, and it shows us. Good. Yellow lights, and we get a forward voltage. Green lights, and we get a forward voltage. Blue lights, and we get a forward voltage. And this is a uh, like a near-infrared or near-UV. Yeah, that's pretty good. I haven't tested many meters that um, light all those up, so that's pretty impressive. Here comes a train. Let's have a look at some capacitors now. I think this is 100 microfarad. Ninety-eight point one seven. What's this one? Ten, I think. Not eleven oh four. Ten point nine nine. Eleven. All right, a little high, but okay. This uh, this should be point one. Microfarad. A little low. This should be a 0.22 microfarad. Mm, Alright. That should have been 0.02. Come up a little bit low, but you know, it's still well within range. I don't see a problem there. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, current. I got it set for 0.1 milliamp. You see we're getting 0 0.08. 0 0.2 milliamp. It doesn't like any of that, does it? I 
All right, so now it's backwards. Not that it really matters, but we'll switch them. All right. So point or so. Yeah, point. That's point one milliamp. That's what I meant to say. The. That's point one milliamp. Point two. Three. Four. Five. All right, let's take it up. There's one milliamp. Very nice. Five milliamps. Ten milliamps. That's the max I can give it, which is 20 milliamps. Not bad. All right, we're having a look at the low end here. There's a, given it 100 microamps, it's reading 124. 200 microamps, 300, 400, 500. So it's, it reads them just it's a little, reads a little bit high, but that's still that's not too bad at all. All right, what do you say we take it apart? And see what it's built like. It has a nice, uh, kind of plasticky, not too rubbery condom on it. It is listed at a what? Cat 4, 600 volts, Cat 3, 1,000 volts. Nice, uh, nice protective area in there for the battery. That's pretty good. Let me peel this off. I'll be right back. There is a nice, I don't know how well you can see that, a nice deep ridge around there where that um, holster fits in there very nicely. That's You're not going to lose that. It's a nice thick holster too. Case feels like standard. ABS, but you know, I don't know plastic, so don't take my word for it. Feels like other multimeter cases, basically. There we go. <laughs> I get one side out and then pop the other side in. There she comes. Come on. Oh, look at that. Some sort of a interesting. Must be another model that has some other features. Wow, look at the size of those fuses. Holy cow. So we've got two HRC fuses. This is a 10 amp, 1000 volts. And this one down here is listed as 0.8 amp, 1000 volts. Those are nice big fuses. And look at the size of that current shunt. Very nice. Got some diodes down here, a couple of PTCs, a lot of Melfry resistors. This little guy's interesting. Well, you guys can see that. It says gap. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's glass. Let me zoom in. Sorry. 
and take a look at that. If you guys know what that is, let me know because I've never, uh, never seen anything like that. There's our board information. Uh, 2007, 16, 2014. Now there's some sort of little header here. Looks like it says JTCAC. It's a three pin header. There's an empty uh, empty spot for a uh, Zener. I don't know why they didn't use that. And then up here is a connector that says solar. So there must be a model that has a solar charging or something I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, but all in all, you know, pretty simple board. I'm, I am, uh, I'm pretty impressed with the protection they've got in there for, you know, your basic home multimeter. That's a lot more than I'm used to seeing. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Okay, we got it back together. Like I said, so far, I am uh, really, really liking this meter for the price and everything. And as well as this built with the protection, this is one of the best built, you know, low cost consumer meters I've seen. Let's check some temperatures. Yeah, yeah it's about 83 degrees in here. All right, let's try some nice ice water. Well, that dropped quick. Now, this thing supposedly has an auto light. But I don't know how to turn it on. It looks like... Something... trying to see if the instructions say anything about the light. Ah. Press the hold button for more than two seconds. There we go. You can tell it's hot when your ice water is 50 degrees, right? Or for those of you of the European persuasion, 11 degrees Celsius. All right. Let's see, hold that in my hand for a second. Looking good so far. Put in some hot water. Oops. Around 100, 105 at most. In Celsius, 40 degrees C. Yeah, not bad. But you know, these days, you you expect your meter to be accurate. They're all based on a single chip. There's really no excuse for them not to be accurate, so you got to evaluate on other ideas, I guess. All right, one last thing we didn't check yet, and that is the uh, the battery test function. Puts a uh, 25. That little stand is kind of hard to pop out. I guess I don't want you to lose it, right? Come on. There we go. Do we get it? Yep. So it puts a 25 milliamp load on a battery. Uh, do we get? Here, I'll turn the light on again. It 
seems like it works fine. Yeah, all in all, I think this is a really nice meter for 30 bucks. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank Hold Peak for sending this out to us, uh, free of charge for our consideration. I want to thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to all the patrons. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. That's it. I'm out. Peace.